What it do out there, everybody? Y'all know who it is. I am back again with another video. It is hot outside today. Again, we get that rain and then just get scorchy outside. It's supposed to stay cool today, but it didn't do as they promised You know what I'm saying? So it's back up in the 90s again. So, went to work this morning. Got off. Uh, got to the, uh, to the uh, rim shop. Closer to the rim shop. That mobile broke down again. So I had to pull over and it just died. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shut off, no power, no nothing. So, it's time to get rid of the dump mobile. It's taking too much money out of me trying to keep it up. So, uh, it could be something small, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Because what I did was tuck the battery out, called AutoZone. AutoZone had a new battery for me because I changed the battery uh, two months ago. And I got a three-year warranty on it. So I took the battery back. Had one of my co-workers, my ex-co-workers uh, I work with at the Housing Authority. Picked me up. Told me to go drop off the battery. Go get a new battery. Slapped the battery in it. The battery got me all the way home. In the back of the garage. And it quit again. Y'all tell me exactly what that is. Because me, I'm tired of trying to figure this one out. I can't even diagnose my car. Because it won't light up on the inside. I'm going to show you guys what I got going on with the car. And what I did to get some charge on the car. Because when I use my, my jumper here. Let you guys see this. When I use my jumper right there. It's charging. So when I use that. It won't do nothing to the car. Okay. I can't even jump it off. Tell me what's wrong. I use this. Cut the power on, I hold that button in, and it won't do nothing. That red light over here will come on. Little bitty red light that's sitting over here in the corner, that comes on. And I have to um, dis disconnect it. So my windows was down on the car, so I had my twin daughter come outside and hold on to that button while I jumped it off with a different battery. So the window got up, but it still won't crank. You know what I'm saying? Just in there, t -t 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 -t. okay, fine. No problem. But, it didn't have enough juice in that new battery. The battery I put in there brand new went down again. So, let me show you how I got this connected. Because I'm going to go in the house and cool off a little bit. And I'm going to come back in about maybe two or three hours. And then I'm going to give it a try and see what happened. But I need you guys to let me know what's wrong with it. Okay? Now, if it cranks up in two or three hours... But she's going to shut off again. Okay? So, just tell me. Some mechanic that's out there, tell me. Tell also Jerry, what's wrong with the dump mobile when it does that? I don't have everything done to this car. And it's driving me really crazy that it's time to go bye-bye. So, let me show you, you guys what's going on here. I got the battery hooked up right here on, on the, in this chair. Okay? I got another charger right there. Alright? Die hard. And it's charging right now. As y'all see, orange light is on, green light is on there. Okay, so I got that running here to this battery. All right, yellow cables running straight to the car. Shout out Lawsuit Jerry, shout out Lawsuit. Yes, shout out Lawsuit Jerry, you got that right. So then we got this battery with the cables hooked onto it right here. Okay, there was nothing wrong with the fuel box. Double check that. Everything, the fuels and all is in there real tight. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the brain box at all. So everything is good there. So when I connect these on there, it gave me a big spark. Okay. So, big spark, what I'm talking about. Let it go. So when I do this, it sparks. Okay. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. But it's not charging up yet. So we're going to leave it right there. Let me connect it. And see what happened. Uh, somebody saying, my neighbor saying, uh, it could be the alternator that's right here. You know, the alternator could be going out. I don't want to take guessing things with the car. I don't know what it is. Man, I'm telling you, it, it could have scared to me today when I got on the west side of Joliet. You know, my radio went out first, and then after that, uh, the air went off. And then after that, all the lights on the dashboard went out. So, 
when that happened to me, I got really scared. I said, man, maybe I can get another couple blocks out of this, and then I will pull over and see what's wrong with the dock mobile. Okay? So I need to get my jumper out the trunk. I couldn't get it out my trunk because there was no power. So I had to squeeze my butt in there because I got the speaker in the back of the trunk. So I had to squeeze my body up in there and reach around that speaker to grab my toolbox with the jumper in it. So I got that out, put it on the car, and it still won't get the window up. So I took the battery out and got me a new one. But there's something wrong with the dock mobile. She's very, very sick, man. I don't know what it is that's wrong with it. You know, I can't check the temperature, you know, stuff like that, you know. Uh, I can't put a band-aid on her because right now she's not bleeding anywhere, you know. But I've been having a little bit more issues with the dock mobile, but I'm trying to find a way to get the dock mobile back up and running again. But I am still going to try to get me another car because she got to go. We got to go ahead and bury the dock mobile, man. So she got to go. I think she's on her leg, her last leg, you know, and... And I don't think she can get anywhere farther with that one leg. So, uh, might as well just put it down and let somebody else deal with the problem. Let lawsuit Jerry just get out here and give him something different. Because I'm going to need it. So, man, I'm just tired. I've been outside all day trying to figure out what's wrong with the car. I'm hot, exhausted, you know. Um, I'm all heated up. So we're just gonna let the duck mobile sit here and relax. I'm gonna shut this hood down a little bit. And let her sit there, you know what I'm saying? And we can take off with it that way. Man, duck mobile is not no good. Again, every month it seems like something else going wrong. So I'm gonna, you know, me, really, I don't really deserve the, the game 32 plates on my car. You know, I'm gonna find a way to get those off. And uh, find a way to get me lost with Jerry on my plates. Because when the dump mobile break down like this, make the rest of the third two game look kind of bad. So I don't want to keep them on there, even though the dump mobile is getting crazy out of hand. Just going to take the rims back off, you know, and leave them off. And, and don't worry about nothing, you know. And just go ahead and get rid of it. It'd be a loss. But... Think of it this way, I got some years out of the car, you know what I'm saying? I got some good years out the car. And she got me through a lot of places, you know, St. Louis, Wisconsin, you know, and man, I've been pretty much a lot of places in the car, you know, but you know, a lot of miles on it, you know, it's it's time to go bye bye. You know? Nothing else I can do about it. I love the car, but I hate when it breaks down on me like this. Because uh, if someone really had to go somewhere, I can't get them nowhere because uh, the car is down. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much, man. You guys, ladies. I uh, don't think Lost with Jerry going to do is just sit back and pray. And hoping that God will, you know, help me out with it. Bless me out with another car or something, you know. And I'm just hoping that he would. So, I'm just going to sit back and see what I can do. But I will be calling the car parts and um, see if I can get the car towed over there to him. And drop it off and see what they can figure out what's wrong with it. But, as soon as it get done, man, I'm going to have to get rid of it. Because I can't do nothing else with it. It's good to have it running. You know, when you get rid of it. But when she's down like this, you can't get rid of a car. So you got to get it running and stuff like that. And maybe somebody come and take it off my hand. And and I can go ahead and get into a better, newer car. It can be used. It ain't got to be new. It can be used. And uh, take off with it that way. Somebody ended up texting me, but I couldn't see who it was, so. It's kind of hard to see who's texting when your phone is dying and your camera be dying and all that stuff like that. So, ain't nobody important that texts me. So, nobody's there anyway. But anyway, my 32 game, uh, just be careful out there, you guys, and uh, be safe. 
you know, uh, the thing is that I thank everybody for being there for me, you know, helping me out, you know, and uh, helping Lawsuit Jerry out, you know. So, uh, I mean, helping me out real good. These flies is getting on my nerves, man. I gotta get out this garage. But just like I said, I appreciate everybody tuning in on my birthday, man. Birthday wishes still coming through, you know. Uh, thank all you guys out there, you know, every last one of you. So, but I had a good birthday, you know. I st stuck around at home, didn't go nowhere, didn't do anything. And I just relaxed the whole time and didn't ever think about it no more, you know. Just happy that I'm here, all right. But anyway, I love every last one of y'all. Be careful out there. Peace, we out.